melon heads, hiding out in America's backwoods like an island of misfit toys. These small but monstrous humanoids allegedly prey upon people who wander into their territory. One night in 1986, near Naples, Florida, Steve Pate and a friend were playing a neighborhood war game. They turned up as captives and were left tied to a tree. A melon head was closing in. This thing was coming up from behind us. He could see around the tree, past me. I couldn't turn around, but I could hear his breathing. It was almost like it was excited that it was terrifying me. I started shaking. Fear was the only thing that helped me get free. I immediately just started trying to tear my hands apart, rubbing them against the tree to break the tape. Eventually it broke. All I could think of was, this thing is going to get me. I didn't even notice the cuts in my hands from the tape digging into my skin. I had the scars on my wrist for a long time. The scars would heal. The imprint left by his melon head encounter has lasted a lifetime. If I see something in the dark, see something move in the shadows, or just see something that resembles its shape, it brings it all back. Unfortunately, lives with you forever. I don't doubt myself ever what I saw that night. I stayed away from Dracula Drive. I was scared to ever go back. Honestly, I believe they're still in that area. When they want to come out, they'll come out. They're not going to be a sideshow for you. They're not going to be your entertainment. 